You've probably never heard of the Thousand Talents Plan, and there's a reason for that. It's a secret Chinese government program to recruit academics from around the world, sign them up, and bring their research and inventions to China. They target the best and brightest brains, usually of Chinese ethnicity, but not always. China has gone underground about its Thousand Talents Plan since the FBI started making arrests of academics who'd lied about their participation or failed to disclose that they were stealing US research and secrets to take back to China. The most famous case in the US has been that of Harvard professor Charles Lieber, charged with lying about his involvement in the Thousand Talents Plan and concealing payments he received from the Chinese government for research. It's extraordinary to think that in the US, the FBI has been criticized for being too slow to realize just what a big threat this Thousand Talents Plan is to national security. And yet here in Australia, there's been no action at all. Our government is ignoring the infiltration of our universities by the Chinese government through this recruitment plan. And the unis, as we found out, are mostly turning a blind eye. Here's how the Thousand Talent Plan works. Western academics, especially those who specialize in a field that's of deep interest for the Chinese government, are recruited through their colleagues, superiors, or even via LinkedIn. They're offered a lucrative second salary, upwards of $150,000 a year, with generous research funding that can stretch into the millions. Some academics are given an entire new laboratory in a Chinese uni and a team of research staff. Other perks? Their children's tuition may be paid for and their housing subsidised. In return, their inventions are lodged in China, patented in China, even if they've been paid for by Australian government grants or universities. Ultimately, it's China reaping the economic benefits. Under the legally binding Thousand Talent contracts that the academics sign, they're told to keep their participation a secret unless they're given permission to disclose it, and they're told to abide by the Chinese legal system and even religious practices. Peter Jennings, Executive Director of the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, says under President Xi Jinping's civil military fusion, the Thousand Talents Plan helps China advance its military interests and even develop weapons. A lot of this work is essentially being militarised by Xi Jinping taking the work of Chinese institutions and applying it to the interests of the People's Liberation Army and China's intelligence services. So what was perhaps acceptable in the 90s and early 2000s now becomes a big strategic problem in the 2020s because of how China is treating those researchers and using that research information. It's also a clear form of intellectual property theft, where China can make money from research funded by Western governments. What is happening is, is the wholesale vacuuming up of intellectual property at Australian universities and across the democracies. And you know this is something that we, we're now going to have to stop. Uh, when you step back and take a look at the nature of the state that we're dealing with in, in, in the People's Republic of China. Many academics are proud of their Thousand Talents link and participate with the knowledge of their universities. But others are not so transparent. They don't disclose their link to their Australian employer and they do not publicly admit to being part of the program. What we've seen during our investigation is how some scientists work full time for an Australian university, yet are quietly making dozens of trips to China to visit the affiliated Thousand Talents plan and they're filing up to 40 patents, their inventions, all patented in China. You can read more about our investigation online at The Australian.